Hey YouTube, me, Jolly Rush Trabi here, uh, doing the review, or kind of review, of the Bond Pro, uh, made by a tinny from Mini Bowl Designs, uh, very light, pretty, pretty awesome stove, um, cooks relatively fast, you know, but it's more for a one-person stove, but it is a great one-person stove, um, and I'll give my review on it. This is probably in, I think, about 36 degree weather. Uh, this this windscreen was made out of aluminum foil just for a quick windscreen since it's starting to get really windy, so I just kind of put it together. But, yeah. Um, that worked pretty well. I kind of modified it, but, uh, you know, uh, I liked it. Here it is at 30 seconds. Um, and then here it is again at two minutes and seven five seconds, whatever two minutes and five seconds. Um, and you can see bubbles, and it starts to they start to kind of come up. And then here it is again at five minutes forty six seconds, and you can see right there I started. Uh, modifying it a little bit to fit better. Um, if I didn't have to film, I would have closed the gap all the way and uh, just folded it over at the top, but I wanted you guys to still be able to see what I was, what I was doing. Uh, so that's the inside view. It started to rain a little bit, so uh, I wanted to get that on video and show that because I figured that'd be pretty important, raining, and you're shooting with fire or a stove. Um, but it actually did pretty well. The fuel started to get a little bit low, so I had to start filling it up. You know, all you had to do is squeeze the bottle, and it, it goes up, and you can kind of see it, and then the stove gets hotter. Uh, I think you can even see miss coming out of the stove. Um, but here it is again at 7 minutes and 52 seconds. Doing pretty well. Uh, I think it would have done better if I stopped opening up the top and bottom. It would have been done earlier. And yeah, it started raining a little bit harder, so this is probably typical weather you'd see on the trail. Here it is again at 8 minutes and 25 seconds. Um, it did pretty well. Again, just bubbling. Kind of like at 7 minutes. And then at 10 minutes and 50 or 50 seconds. Um, it started to get more steam, which I kept releasing every time I'd open the lid. Uh, here it is again at 13 minutes and 42 seconds. Yeah, so I'm just going to let it run. 14 minutes and like 50 seconds, I think it was. And it started really boiling uh, 44 seconds, 14 minutes and 44 seconds. It started boiling, pretty good boil. Um, it would have done, I think, probably shaved off two minutes because I did it later that night, which that it was even colder. Um, actually, I did it a few days ago, sorry. It was even colder. It wasn't raining. But it did do, it shaved off about two minutes. So it probably would have shaved off about a minute, two minutes if I didn't keep opening it. Um, I am going to do another video on uh, the blueberry muffin so, uh, in the great oven part. So stay tuned to watch that. Um, yeah, so I give it a, I would say, a four to five. Uh, five out of five if you were a single person. So uh, here's my setup. This weighs a little bit more. See that with the great oven and the uh, windshield inside, which I took out to show you guys. Um, it's just a piece of aluminum foil folded over. There's a cutout for it, and then you can kind of flip it over on the top or whatever to work. Um, that's that case right there is a. a clips like big pack gum container that uh that part is the the 
uh, tube that goes to the top of the bottle. And you just pull it up apart and get the silicone tube out and wrap it around the stove. Just put it in there. That's what she said. Uh, put it in there. And then you just kind of tuck it in there. And it fits pretty well. Um, the Budweiser part comes off the bottom. And you could do it with the lid on or lid off. I just did it with the lid off because I was taking everything out. So you just put that in there. And then uh, grab the legs, which I was having trouble with because I, I just did. I don't know why. But it's pretty easy. Just the, there, There's a hole in the bongos, and then you put it in between the tubing so it kind of holds them in place so they don't shake around. And then put a lid kind of on the side, just tilted. Put another lid next to it. Sorry you can't see it. I didn't wasn't checking the camera. And then there. You just put that upside down. Put the lid in. You even have room for the carbon salt wick in there, but it gets like the it gets the carbony or the black stuff on the silicone tube, so I didn't want to do that. And then you could just put it in there. Um and then you just put the windscreen inside of there. That fits perfectly on the bottom of one of those. Just keep it nice and secure. Put that on the top and then drop it in. Grab the lid. Put the lid on. Put the other lid on. And you got a full cooking kit with something to eat out of. Nice one person set. <laughs>